everybody and welcome to the paper book light my name is Laura Munoz and first of all a massive thank you for all the love and comments I have been receiving the past few days because is it really interesting to see all your favorite books on bookshops I've got really 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 good recommendations if you haven't seen it yet just feel free to go here have a look and tell me what is your favorite book on bookshops today's video is going to be a review in English so just feel free to activate the subtitles in Spanish or English by clicking on the gear right here also I was thinking to do a little giveaway once we reach the 100 subscribers on the channel I want it to be really special to add some goodies as well so just let me know what you think either here on the comments or in my social media accounts Instagram and Twitter that you can follow here Apologies because a couple of weeks ago I had to rush to the hospital. I was in the middle of editing the bookshop video and I got appendicitis. So I had to rush to the hospital and facing this type of situations and also um, seeing how healthcare professionals do an amazing job despite being so underfunded. I really, really believe that the National Health Service, either in the United Kingdom or any other part of the world, needs to have a really good support. I have this book for a while and I found this was a really good moment to it. So today's book is When Breath Becomes a uh, by Paul Kalanithi. In the United Kingdom you can find it published by Vintage which belongs to Penguin and indeed it can be found in Spanish under two completely different names depending on the zone that you're in. If you're in Spain you will find it under the name of Recuerda que vas a morir vive which literally is translated as Remember you are going to die, just live. It's published by Sex Barral. While it's if you are in Mexico and also in Latin America, if I'm not wrong, uh, you will find it under the name of El Buen Doctor, which literally is translated as The Good Doctor and is published by Oceano. So speaking about the author, Paul Cullen, he was a neurosurgeon uh, with degrees in English and different science from the universities of Yale and Cambridge. I'm saying was because sadly he passed away two years ago. So speaking about the book, and this is not a spoiler, you will find that the book is divided in four parts. The foreword is written by a doctor, uh, Abraham Burgess, and the other one, the last one, the afterword, is written by his wife Lucy. And the reason why is because initially this book was unfinished manuscript. Um, sadly he passed away before he can finish it. The second and the third are written by Paul himself and the first part that he wrote it was basically how he was intrigued about life and death and how these questions were crucial at the time to choose a career. He chose neuroscience because he was curious about how we construct our identities on this subject as well. How he approached med school and how he met Lucy which was over a super small detail but you know when you choose the love of your life sometimes the smallest details are the ones that make you think like oh this is this person can be the love of my life you know the second part um, is basically how he was diagnosed with cancer and how he does this transition from doctor to patient and also like you know that is a bit ironic like how widely his life was coming to an end another one was beginning the last part was really written by Lucy and she basically tells us like how these last moments were and I have to say that this book got me really emotional I read it in an afternoon it's a short book and his writing style is quite engaging and also like one of the things that caught my attention and is something that I spoke in with different people that were working in diverse careers within the healthcare sector such as podology or, or medicine or physiotherapy and they needed to do anatomy courses it's like how you detach this identity from the body that you have got in front of you. If you like this book, I can recommend you three different books uh, from three different subjects and perspectives. I'm going to shift a little bit the area towards the United Kingdom but these are really good books. The first one is The Mom's List by St. John's Green. It was recently adapted to the screen. I'm gonna leave you the trailer here. It's super emotional. Uh, it's a non-fiction as well and it's basically the story of a mom that before she died she left like a list of requests to like let's say like to cope with her absence. 
The other one is Do No Harm by Henry Marsh, which you can indeed find it in Spanish under the name of Ante Todo No Hagas Daño, and it's the story of uh, the author who was a neurosurgeon as well, and he basically tells you his experience about life, death, um, recently he released another one it's called Admissions, and these two go really well together, and if you want to go towards comedy, I really, really, really recommend to you, this is going to hurt the secret Diaries of a Junior Doctor by Adam Kay. He used to work uh, with the NHS as well. It's going to be released on the 7th of September and I have to say I read some bits of the book and I found it hilarious. I bought the book and really I'm really really looking forward to it. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, have a look to the other videos I have on my channel, leave me a comment and follow me on my social media accounts and I have to say I'm really looking forward to show you some surprises that I got for you guys. So, see you next week!